All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Today, our topic about coronavirus and sound like it's getting worse. Uh, but you know, for me, I have one topic always to speak about, even though we will talk about coronavirus. Uh, you know, we heard in the news that Saudi Arabia they suspended uh, any visas to visit uh, to visit the Kaaba and uh, Mecca and Al Medina, which mean both city, which is considered as holy. So uh, people like us, a human, cannot visit them because this is a you know a supremacist cult believe that Muslims are clean and non-Muslims are filthy dirty. Uh, now it's very normal. I mean, uh, a place where a lot of people go there. Uh, to get infected, that's not really uh, a big deal. Uh, but according to Islam, uh, according to Muhammad, that that is impossible. If we go to the, uh, you know, Muhammad, uh, what I like about Muhammad that he is a guy, is the kind who cannot keep his mouth shut. And the more he talk, the more he, you know, do the his poo, -poo you know. So he talk a lot. And, uh, the more he talk, the more he he do it. Muhammad said that neither the Messiah the Dajjal, which is you know I don't, who is this Messiah? Nobody, you know. Don't ask me. I mean, Muhammad he came with the idea there's a the false messiah will come it's supposedly not him you know supposedly he is not the false one but there's a false messiah will come nor that the, the the false messiah will come nor the plague will enter the city of medina you see the uh, uh, plague is not a disease by itself is any uh, any uh, like uh, uh, any kind of illness kill people by a huge number like all of them they have the same illness you know, is is called the plague. You know, in Arabic we call it ta'un. So, no false messiah and no plague will enter the Medina. In different hadith, Muhammad he claimed that the angels are not going to allow that. There are at the approaches of Medina angels. So that plague and the jal shall not penetrate into it. As you see. Now, this hadith is enough alone to prove to you that Muhammad is a fraud. Forget about all the debate between Muslims and Christians, etc. As you see, this is a very authentic hadith. This is Sahih Muslim. We can show it to you from Sahih al-Bukhari. It's all over, you know. So, he claimed that there is angels are protecting the city of Medina and no false messiah, forget about the false messiah now, but no disease like the plague will enter it. However, I'm not going to wait until Corona, you know, actually, uh, I showed you before, according to the United Nations official website, that the first time Corona has appeared, it was in the, in, in, in the in Saudi Arabia and you know the corona like have different uh, let us say uh, uh, numbers but it's the same but the same virus but it's like let us say it is uh, developing itself Let us see. <clears throat> I showed you the link anyway before I showed you the website. Now, one of you, he sent me an email, says hey, this is not about the same. No, it's the same because all of those, they have numbers. They number them because this is the same virus is a change in its structures depend in the in the in the uh, let us say uh, treatment he uh, he got so like now you give him some uh, drugs and then this virus gets stronger and it change you know it's it's very powerful uh, uh, 
let us say system he have um, <clears throat> let us see all right I think Yeah, you see here, this is the World Health Organization. This is United Nation. This is United Nation. You see here, they call it coronavirus M E R S because simply this is Middle East coronavirus. First time appear, it was in Saudi Arabia, two thousand. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, in the uh, I think that. Uh, uh, 1912 I think yeah yeah in the year 12 so and uh, they have about 2102 cases all right 780 of them died I mean how come nobody speak about this you know I mean this is a huge number 780 people died and the, the rate of death is 37.1%. That's mean it is re way higher than the coronavirus, which we have in China right now. 31%, do you see it? Here we have a hadith from Sahih al-Bukhari speaking about what happened to the city of al Madina a long time ago during just right after after Muhammad he you know he died it says here once I went to Medina where there was an outbreak of disease and the people were dying rapidly do you see it Actually, in Arabic, it says "mawtan adharian," which means very fast. The people like they get infected; they, they die in like in a day. "Mawtan zarian," so it's like it is. It is really a, a, a very fast death. People die by hundreds, by you know, and all of them they have obviously the same disease. But remember, Muhammad he said that no disease can enter this city, for it is protected by angels. And now the Saudi Arabia government, they shut down all visas and visit from abroad to the Kaaba and to Mecca and Medina. Why? Because simply things is going out of hand. And you know, if 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 you Muslim believe that what Muhammad said that angels are protecting Al Medina, then you should not worry about Al Medina at least. You should give visas to people and go and like visit in Medina because as you see angels are protecting it there so as you see Muhammad obviously I mean what what do you what I need more to prove that Muhammad is a fraud Don't use bad language in the chat, otherwise we will block your name, please. Anyone use the F word, we will block you. Anyone, anyone use bad language? We are here to speak about religion, and we are a Christian. If you are, a, you have a filthy mouth, take a hike. <clears throat> if you cannot clean your mouth before you talk, take a hike. All right. So as you see, I mean, the case is over. Islam is proven to be false. Muhammad proven to be a, a, a false person. Uh, Muhammad is making a statement which is not true. And either you accept that Muhammad is a prophet, but yet he lie, claiming that God told him. Remember, he is not guessing. He is speaking about what? About the city of Medina protected by angels. 
So who is the one who go, uh, gave the order to the angels? Obviously not Muhammad, it's Allah, right? So how Muhammad learn about this from Allah? So if Allah truly is a God for Muhammad, and Muhammad he received this information from Allah, obviously Allah is making fun of Muhammad, he's shaitan, he's Satan. Because there is no way, there's a true God, he will say something not true, and he will get his prophet busted. And remember, you know, the, the, the illness start it, like entering like crazy in this town. Uh, right in the time of Muhammad. I mean, the guy, he was maybe still alive or maybe right after he died. As you see, this is Omar the Caliphate. Omar is one of the companions of the Prophet. So if this is happening, it's going to happen either by the end of the life of Muhammad or by, you know, when Omar was maybe the Caliphate. But, however, it's going to be very close to, to Muhammad time for Omar was just one of the companions of Muhammad. So how Muhammad can be a Prophet? If I say to you, that uh, uh, you know my city i am a prophet my city will never enter it uh, if you enter my house you are safe no disease can enter here and then after that disease enter so isn't it clear proof that i am not a true prophet one of you uh, uh, he said that uh, one of the most islamic ustad sheikh in indonesia he says coronavirus is the army of allah and supposedly he sent me a link in battery on I could not I hit not I, I got nothing he told me that he sent it but I, I checked my mailbox I, I got nothing but according to this Indonesian person you know the Sheikh he claimed that coronavirus is an army of Allah you know if you remember few uh, not, about 10 days ago we made a video about Muslims celebrating and uh, happy that China is infected claiming that Allah is the one who is punishing China. Allah is punishing China, and this is why coronavirus is the army of Allah. Right? Yeah, I know, but I did not get the link, so I can show it, you know. They told me that they sent the link to me, but I got nothing in my mailbox in Patreon. Uh, but imagine how crazy this cult is. They love to see disasters and, they, you know, this is the only cult in the world make people rejoice for disasters. I remember when, uh, when uh, a tsunami happened, uh, at that time I used to use uh, Paltalk. Uh, chat program the Muslim they open a chat room you know uh, uh, praise be to Allah Allah he punished the kuffar by tsunami and then they start posting not only that I mean like those people they, they, they have a they have a I'm mean, something about them they fabricated Photoshop let me find it I will find it for you. Here we go. Look at this. They fabricated Photoshop claiming that the glorious name of Allah appeared in the wave of tsunami. But at that time, they thought that this is hitting Sri Lanka. They didn't know that it hit Indonesia. Allahu Akbar, brother. Allahu Akbar. They heard the news, Australian uh, tourists die, etc. So they start celebrating, you know, and they 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 put they they did the, like uh, the Photoshop. And look, this is supposedly this is Allah. How this is Allah come with them? This is Allah. But then later they find that the tsunami, the majority of people who died, as you see, even in the picture, there's a mosque. If you look in the picture here, there's a mosque in the middle. And the Muslim at that after the tsunami, after the disaster happened, 
when they found that they are stupid, they are just celebrating the death of Muslims. And then they start posting those pictures, subhanAllah. You see, brother, the mosque is the only uh, place is not destroyed. The, the, because the, the mosque is built from concrete, the rest are poor houses. This is the money of Saudi Arabia. I mean, how tsunami will destroy a house from concrete? Tsunami is just a wave, will bring all the mud or whatever, etc. This is a house from concrete. If your house is made from wood, etc., will, will you know will be drifted. But this is showing you the madness and the ugliness of this cult, where people their heart became evil. Celebrating the death of nations just because they are from different religion. This is exactly what happened in 9-11. They start dancing in the street, giving candies for people who walk in the street because today is a victory day 3,000 American get killed and you can search the videos in YouTube you will find it tsunami is the same so they start celebrating Allahu Akbar Allah he punished the kuffar etc you know I mean Allah destroy them all they, this is what they pray and the, the, the Islamic prayer by the way in the mosque is about cursing asking people to be burned to be killed uh, me, you know, there is a there is a famous prayer that Muhammad and they repeat in the mosque uh, when they are angry from somebody. Uh, May Allah freeze the blood in his uh, nerve in his vein. May Allah stop his mouth from breathing. I mean, look at that. This is a prayer, and everybody behind the sheikh he say, "I mean, it is absolutely a satanic cult." And this is exactly what happened. Let me search for two, just two weeks ago, when, when we start hearing the news about this, the Muslim, they posted thousands of posts that Allah punishing China by Corona. Let me try to find you some of the madness. Actually, you can do the same. You can watch videos. This is a this is a video memory TV where uh, supposedly this person I don't know who's he maybe Sheikh I'm not sure. Uh, New Jersey Friday sermon, coronavirus punishment to Chinese. Who is saying that? A Sheikh in the mosque in New Jersey. May Allah punish them for what they did to our Muslim Chinese. Loses it from coronaviruses. Do you see it? Such as a coronavirus outbreak is a punishment visited by Allah upon epidemic in China. And they are praying for the death of every Chinese. This is how evil this cult is. Singapore stars, stars mean like supposedly a master teacher. They are copying the Arabic, you know, which is stupid because you cannot call yourself a star by, by being a, a sheikh. Says coronavirus is Allah punishment against the Chinese for oppressing Muslims. Do you see it? All of those. Look, look, look how many. I mean, there's endless posts. Like we can keep going forever. Okay, now coronavirus is coming to Mecca, coming to Saudi Arabia. Actually, coronavirus came first of all came to Mecca before anyone else. And here we go. This is United Nation. You know, this is United Nation showing you that this has really happened. First time happened was in Saudi Arabia. in you know during the hajj time nobody nobody celebrate 
death unless he is sick. You see, when I when I hear that a disaster happened in a Muslim country, I don't dance for it. That is a shame. Those are people. They are human. They have a family. They have people who cry for them. They are not bugs. Islam make you believe that if you are not a Muslim, everyone else is a bug. I never heard of a Christian posting when 780 people die by Corona in Saudi Arabia in less than a month. As you see, 37% right now, the death in China is way less than 37%. Which means the rate death of Corona, the Middle East Corona, which appeared first time in 2012, as you see in the screen, in Saudi Arabia, 37% was the death. So almost half of the number of they are infected. The total of 780 human beings die. I never saw a Chinese, I never saw an atheist, I never saw a Christian, I never saw a Jew posting saying praise be to whatever God for the death of those Muslims. What a shame. This is the first time this corona appeared. It was in 2000, uh, 2012. Uh, uh, Sorry, I, I said before 19. Yeah, 2012. So, uh, how in the world human being can celebrate death of others? The answer is very simple. When you follow an ugly cult like Islam, then you do. And you see we have the proof in front of us. You do, and you do more. Guys, if you read Arabic, you will not believe it. Go and watch the videos. Like now there's a war happening in, uh, let us say, uh, in Libya, in uh, uh, in Yemen, in Syria. Allahu Akbar, me Allah kill him. Allahu Akbar, brother, shop his head, brother. This is the religion, and everybody agree. I mean, there's the, nobody say this. What are you talking about? But th because this is Islam. And then you will see a bunch of scumbags saying to us, Islam is peace. A bunch of scumbags, even those they claim to be Christians in our churches, I call them scumbag for sure, saying that Islam follow Abraham. Since when Abraham, he rejoiced for the death of, uh, of people by disease. Is that what Abraham, he taught his children to do? How they can be following Abraham. The Messiah in the Bible says, if you are, and he was speaking to the Jews, not to people who have nothing to do with Abraham. If you are of Abraham, you do the work of your father. What kind of cult we are talking about? By the way, I just received a post in Facebook, somebody posting in Facebook that he decided to leave Islam. This guy, he called me before. He said, no, he will not, that, uh, he will not leave Islam. And now he, he sent me, he sent, uh, he posted in Facebook page saying that he decided to leave Islam. And guess what? Now, coronavirus is spreading in Iran, spreading in Kuwait, in Qatar, in Bahrain, in Emirat, everywhere. Who is the one who will save the Muslims? The Muslim scientist? Who is exactly you Muslims will save you? When you, when you are going to use the drugs now to fight coronavirus, this drug is made where? Hmm? From which country you are going to buy the drugs? Is it made in Mecca? Or maybe Allah he will send it to you. So now you are celebrating death of Chinese. Here we go. Coronavirus is coming to your door. 
get ready and now you will kiss the hand of the Chinese to give you more information about the disease and maybe they have a vaccine or you will call the Israeli scientist the funny the 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 Prince of Emirat and the Kuwait they uh, they invited very famous doctors from around the world you know money money a lot of money you know like, like bring him bring him we will pay him a million dollar a day just bring him okay whatever he is you know famous doctors but none of them is an arab and those are like scientists not just doctors i mean like those are because they, today you do not need a doctor really to fight the virus you need somebody he you know he's a pharmacist he can you know he can do his own experiment and find a way to stop the disease because doctors they just use what the pharma the, the, those who do work in the pharmacy business let us say scientists uh, what they what they make doctors they just they don't they don't make drugs you know, we know the we know what the disease so we do not need a doctor really to tell us what it what it is who is the one is going to find the vaccine for coronavirus For sure, Allah. And here I want to remind people about about this uh, virus. Actually, you see, this virus, you know, we don't want to be the same as Muslims rejoicing for death. For sure, we cannot rejoice for death of any children, women, men, old, young, dying. I mean, this is this is ugly, but it is important to remember that life which is given to you can be taken from you in a second you see what what happened a human being as long he is healthy he think he is god and i'm serious about that he think he owned the world he think the world is under his arm in his pocket especially if you have money you know i don't want to believe in god i don't care for god god is a joke etc and then when something bad happened suddenly he will you will find this atheist crying like a baby saying god suddenly he remember god you see the best time a human being here remember i mean remember god is when he is dying here we go annie she is a pharmacist and uh, she is retired well Annie, by the way we arab we make better drugs from you but we are the first one who advised the whole universe drink camel urine i will tell you that this is a true story there was about ten thousand people sick hmm? and uh, i was at that time in uh, in a country it's called the chico brasilia sri lanka which is very close in the borders of uh, you know uh, holland and those people they were like sneezing like hachu hachu and all of us they will die by the morning you know and then they said to me do you have anything any any uh, any uh, uh, any medicine to help us i said I, the only medicine i know is the medicine which is prescribed by prophet muhammad and they told me like what is that medicine i said camel urine and man oh man they have only five camel in the zoo and now we have to get urine for all those people so i come with an idea because i'm an arab i'm smart you know me so what i did i i put a horse in the mouth of the uh, of the camel brother and then we tape his mouth and the host is inside and we open the water so the water go inside the mouth of the camel as water come out as a urine and people drink and brother i made everybody by the help of a prophet muhammad uh, uh, recover in the morning everybody is like a donkey you know i mean like a horse and if you don't believe me this is happening i told you the name of the country it's called uh, you know chaco uh, Ch uh, chaco uh, Char charcoal actually charcoal uh, chocoslovak uh, brazil you know uh, uh, Holunulu. you know it's a very well known country i mean that even their flag is like a very very they have a flag like 15 meter by by, by 20 kilometer you know 
No. We well, don't use the camel urine of the prophet. As long as the, the prophet, he if you if you are sick and you want to be, you know, just why you want to close Mecca, you want to close airline, why you want to shut down your borders, why why you are terrified, why how Corona enter the Medina, how Corona enter, all what you need, it just came with urine. Hmm. <coughs> Hmm. What we can say, what we can do. Uh, by the way, I did it. I I came earlier today. Uh, uh, I said to myself, let me give time for because some people complain I'm getting so late. So I will like I will do it that the other time, which is like the, uh, uh, two hours more from now. But you know we will we will mix it so we can get a chance for more people to join us from different location. <clears throat> Iran VIP infected Saudi house pilgrimage from Israel. Okay, hold on. Do you know that even the health the uh, uh, the health minister of Iran, I think, like he's an official. I don't know what his job. He got sick with coronavirus. I mean, it, it's really horrible. And the funny, those in those countries, by the way, even if the half of the population die, nobody will know about it. Nobody will know about I remember there's a guy, his name is James White. I don't know if you know him. James White is a guy who lost his hair from reading too much. But he read too much, but he know nothing about Islam, about the Middle East. And yet he want to open his mouth and when he teach about the Middle East. So when he speak about the Middle East, he do poo-poo. He, he literally do poo poo. So James White in one of his videos says that uh, uh, the, the Middle East was saved from the plague while the plague was eating Europe. I mean, what this guy is talking about? Let me tell you, my friend, why nobody knows about the plague in the Middle East because it's not important. Just you know, before the oil discover, nobody even knows what is what is in Saudi Arabia. Nobody even remember where it is located. Since the oil came, you know about them. Before that, nobody talk about them. So Europe is the center where several lives, you know, uh, philosophy, scientists. So when a disaster happened, everybody write about it. But when happened, something happened to the Middle East. There is people write about it, but you are not the one who can tell us not, that did not happen. As you see, even the Abdul, they wrote in their books about disasters in the middle of the of the Islamic uh, uh, cult, uh, uh, you know, cities. This is the city of Al Medina. People were dying by thousands. And then this guy, he says to you, the Middle East was saved from uh, plague. And I don't know what he said after I forgot what he said the reason. This is why it's very important, you know, before you put a trust in somebody you want to listen to, you have to be sure that he is not making poo poo. Because there's many people, they claim to be ministers, they have a PhD doctor, you know, Dr. James White. I mean, what do you want more? Doctor, that's it. But you see, doctor doesn't mean he know anything. You know, actually, I noticed that those who hold a degree is the last one to know. I have a degree in Islamic law, but I did not learn about anything about Islam from my degree. My degree in law have nothing to do with Islam, actually. Why? Because they teach you, you know, if this happened, you do this. But this is not Islam. Islam, you know, you can read the garbage. They will never show you the garbage. So you study Islamic law, okay? Islamic law, like we have, we have a, we study a book. It's called Usul al Fiqh. You know, okay? You go and read. You know, the, the I don't know how to translate the word in English. Like the the, the uh, let's say the rules of. Uh, I'm not sure how to translate this. Uh, let me see if I can translate. Using Google translation. Hold on. <coughs> Google Translate.
Okay. Uh, I don't know. This is why it came in the screen. I don't know if that will be accurate. Usul al fiqh. Fundamentals of jurisprudence. All right. This is a translation from Google translation. I'm not sure if this is a good, uh, good translation, but it's look like it's close to. So anyway, you study, you study, but you learn nothing. It's just a stupid things. Everything I learn really about Islam is not there. It I learned I learn it by my own study, not my own research. How about Ravi? I don't know Ravi, my friend. I'm not talking about Ravi. I'm talking about a guy. He say something about Islam. He's he do poo poo. James White. He said once. Hey, anyone who say Islam as all is ISIS, he is lying. Islam is ISIS. Actually, the true Islam is ISIS. So this guy, he's proven to me that he's an idiot when it's come to speak about Islam. <clears throat> uh, Danny, you need to tag a name before so I can read. No, I read the questions, but I, not necessarily I will answer your question, my friend. Anyway, what is your question, Danny? All right. Hey, Dominique, how are you? I don't care, you know, who you like who. For me, uh, what I care for, if a person speaks the truth about Islam, then he is right. If not, we have to either correct him. If he's a stubborn, we'll give him a spank. As simple as that. You know what I mean? If you claim to have knowledge. You see, if you don't have knowledge, why you open your mouth? Why you say things which are not true? And you are deceiving the Christians. So when you say Islam is not ISIS and yet you are a Christian minister, you are lying. Because there is no way you have a PhD, which means you are a person of uh, you learn in how to how to how how to research. And you debate many Muslims before, and you do not know that the true Islam is ISIS. Isn't it Muhammad? He says, "I've been ordered to fight and kill all mankind." Until they convert to Islam. So is Muhammad ISIS or not? So how you say the one who says Islam is ISIS is a liar? You see, when he's saying that, the, the Muslim, they use it against us. Because he's a very well-known Christian minister. I say, look, here we go. They use his video to promote lies. Is that Muhammad or this is the neighbor? He been ordered to fight all mankind, kill them all, unless they convert to Islam. Then they say to you, that ISIS is not Islam. Is killing the Christians, cleansing the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula and cleansing the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula, is that ISIS act or Muhammad? This is Muhammad. Is that Muhammad words? The messenger said, if I live, if Allah wills, I will expel the Jews and the Christians from the Arabian Peninsula. How we will expel them by the sword, kill whoever he can kill, and the, the, left, the, the, the rest they will run away. And then they say to you, you will get a, someone who claim to be a Christian minister, that Islam is not ISIS. And by the way, if you are a person who is politically correct, you get more support. Because the truth hurt. And these days, everybody is doing business. Nobody, nobody want to share the truth because sharing the truth can cost you your life. I mean, it's dangerous. You 
Even Muhammad, he ordered the Muslims. He's, you know, he told them that you are the best of mankind. Islam is a supremacist Arab cult. You are the best of mankind. And what is the best of mankind a duty to do? Save people from coronavirus? No. You go and you bring them and put the chains around their necks. You are the best of people ever raised up for the benefit of mankind. When you see the word benefit between two brackets, this and the Muslims added, you think like those people, they will make a vaccine for coronavirus. You know, they will uh, build houses for us. They will, no. The best, he explained, the best for mankind are those who bring them with the chain around their necks till they embrace Islam. So they will not go to hell. Do you see it? <clears throat> I am an ex-Christian. You know, Muhammad, Michael, I think you are the Mother Teresa. You used to be the Mother Teresa. And I, I will not be surprised that if you claim to be the Pope. How about, how about you give me a call, Muhammad, Michael? Let us see. And so everybody will be laughing at you. Aren't you claiming to be an ex-Christian, Muhammad, Michael? Here we go. I will open my Skype just for you. Do you dare to call me? And in two minutes, people, they will be dying, laughing at you, lying. Hello? Do you dare? Maybe you can make me Muslim too. Maybe you can make me ex-Christian. <laughs> I open my sky for you. Do you dare? He's even not texting anymore. He's gone. He's, he's gone with the wind. He's purchasing camel urine from the prophet. <clears throat> Muhammad, fiction or fact? Doesn't matter, my friend. If he's fiction or fa or, <laughs> or fact, that will not change anything. You know, I don't focus on those things. I focus in getting Islam busted. You know what I mean? Focus in the head of the snake. And now you see, the second I, I, I challenge them, they die. Focus always in the head of the snake. We hear we don't we don't uh, rate lies. We destroy it in its place. Hmm. Uh, uh, someone from this. Uh, okay, yeah, he claimed that. Uh, okay, you see, uh, I will tell you a story. This is. I wish at that time I have a recording program to record it because you would die laughing. A guy in a chat room, they, the Muslim, they invited a lot of people. Chat room can, kind of like a pal talk, they have a paid, paid chat room. It can fit up to 1,000. Imagine 1,000. You see, at that time, 1,000 is like, not like now. Like now we have 581, you know, and we are not like, you know, not really busy because I'm not coming in the in the time I used to come. But they have more than, a, I mean, the, the, the chat room cannot, it cannot, you cannot have more people inside. Why? Because they get the Pope. The Pope converted to Islam. And look what the story is. This guy, he claimed to be that he was the Pope of the Catholic. And he is an Egyptian. I never heard of a Pope as an Egyptian. Since when? And then, brother, he converted to Islam. One day he was praying as a Muslim. They opened the door. And they found him praying to Allah. And then, the priest, they capture him and they tie him up and they put him in a dark room. And every day they bring 12 lions and they order them to turn their back and they whip him with their tail. 12 lions. And they order that lions to whip him with their tail. With his, with their tail. And he have marks in his body, brother. It's a chat room, you know. 
I swear by Allah, if I have a camera, I will show you. And he's like, he's almost crying. And then, brother, one day Allah inspired him to run away. So he opened and he broke the toilet seat. And he went in the sewage and he came out in Egypt. I was literally dying from laughing. I mean, do you know how far Egypt is from the Vatican? So he went in the toilet seat, down in the sewage. He came out in the in, in, in Egypt. I mean, look like there is a sewage connected directly. All all excuse my language. Look like the sh all the shit of the Pope is imported to to uh, to this to this guy in Egypt. And the Muslim in the chat, Allahu Akbar, brother. Allahu Akbar, may Allah bless you, brother. We are sorry for your suffering, brother. I mean, nobody like nobody noticed that this guy is a, is a, is a fraud. Eh, welcome to Islam. Right? Now, do we have any Muhammadan? Want to say something? Or you are brave to talk to me in, the, in your video, make a video about me. Christian Prince getting busted. Or if you got me busted. I never saw a Muslim don't get me busted. Actually, I bought a glue just to glue myself because I get busted every day. I mean, like, and I you know, I, I am number one buyer for a glue from Amazon.com. Actually, if you see me, you would not recognize me no more because, like, I, I, don't, I don't know how to, uh, to glue things together. Brother, like even even the ustaz from Indonesia, they will not debate me because I'm broke. There's nothing to break left, brother. That's it. I mean, his nose and his toes. There's nothing left of him. Hmm? I am uh, soon. I will be out of it. You know, like uh, this is why people they are making donation, brother. Like, do you think the donation is made by the Christians? I can I spend it for something useful? No, I'm buying, I'm buying glue, brother. I buy a glue. I go to home, like in, in Home Depot, they knew me. They, they, they say that the guy who buy glue. I go to Walmart, they say, okay, the guy who buy glue. You know, even I wanted to uh, find the wife to get married from, and, and then I don't know how she said, are you the glue guy? How in the world she found out? I don't even have a picture in the profile. Unbelievable. When the fact, we are the one who turn Muhammad pieces every time we go live on air. When the fact is, we are the only one who open our Skype and he say who dare. That is a truth. We should pray for Muslims. My friend, pray for the Muslims, pray to everybody. But if you want to help the Muslims, it's not by praying for them alone. Because prayer alone, without work, this is what the Bible says. Faith without fruits is a false faith. So those who say pray to the Muslims, but they, they don't want to do anything. I mean, okay, how you will save them? What do you mean pray to the Muslims? You see, did Jesus pray to save us or he come to this earth to save us? Hmm? He come to this earth, he talk to us, he preach, he teach, he did miracles, all of this to save us. Everything the Messiah he did, it was for one purpose. Not for his benefit, it was for us, to save us. Otherwise, he's just, okay, Father, save them. It's over. Right? The Messiah, he, he gave his life for you, to save you. And I find it really funny that, you know, uh, suddenly a, a Christian, he will say to you, uh, pray to the Muslims. Okay, that's it. 
it's like somebody is, is dying because he don't have a vaccine for coronavirus okay i understand you don't have a vaccine so you say pray for him because this is the only solution we have left but if there is other solution you don't say only pray you do about it you do something The Bible is full of verses about rebuking those who they are doing wrong. And all what those Christians want to do, just to pray. Pray for this guy. Pray. Okay, we pray. We got it. We got it. We pray. But this is not enough. If your son is taking drugs, you pray for him to stop only or you talk to him. You try to guide him. You try to help him. So stop being, you know, using this mentality because many Christians, they have this mentality. They think Christianity is just about praying for others. That's not true. It's like saying somebody, he is dying from hunger and you pray for to God to feed him. You feed him. The Messiah, he said, I was hungry and you feed me. I was thirsty and you gave me water. I was a, a, a prisoner and you visited me. I, I was a stranger and you took me in. You did not say and you prayed for me. I was a prisoner and you prayed for me. I was uh, sick and you prayed for me. I was hungry and you prayed for me. No, he said, and you, 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 you visited me. You took me in. You did an action. That is the teaching of Christ. Do we have any Muhammadan want to say anything? So, uh, as you see, what we discover here, that Muhammad is a fraud. Muhammad, he promised that Allah is protecting the city of Medina by angels and nobody can enter it. And no, I say nobody, I mean no disease, no illness, no plague. And as you see, the Medina was even right after his death in the time of the Caliphate Umar, the Medina was, uh, there is an outbreak of a very bad, uh, nasty disease killing tens of thousands. We don't know, because this was all the way from the Medina, Mecca, Syria, all, I mean, it's all the whole area was dying. To the point, even the, 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 the ruler of, the Muslim ruler of, of, uh, uh, of Syria at that time, he died by the same disease. And then when we have a virus like this corona and instead of muslims you know showing some support for a human being you are a human being forget about your religion now no they cannot and instead of being a human being supporting all those i mean how many people they lost their father they, they maybe they, they didn't have anyone to feed them now nobody to take care of them he lost, i mean maybe he is the only one he is responsible for the family what we do instead of feeling sorry for them we celebrate even tsunami we make thousands and millions of posts in youtube in channels sheikhs talking that they believe that allah is the one who punishes china by sending coronavirus but there's a lot of muslims in china too you idiot and now china is coming to your door it's all over iran it's all over uh, 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 Kuwait, Bahrain, uh, Saudi Arabia, it's all, and, and you know, in the Middle East, this is something about Middle Eastern countries and government. In the Middle East, if there is one, you know, if there is like 1,000 people die, they will say mm, half one. Do you remember once I made a video about those who die in the Hajj, they walk in the top of each other? Anyone remember? At that time, Saudi Arabia government, they said 200 something died. 200. I made a video, I says, 
well if the Saudi are saying whatever like number it's going to be maybe four or five times it's going to be maybe two thousand uh, etc I don't know really what's happening there and later we found that more than five thousand seven hundred died yet they say two hundred people five thousand people five seven hundred people died and you say two hundred how the five thousand seven hundred became two hundred and remember those are many of them they are foreigners they have to be sent to their country which means you cannot hide it they are not like local we can just bury them and nobody will know so when they say to you we have uh, 10 people dying from uh, corona that means they have maybe uh, uh, you know a thousand that's in the middle east that is the middle east Uh, the one who's asking Muhammad why he awoke away from Jesus my friend those, those are liars they are angry from my channel because a lot of Muslims leave Islam because of my videos and because they call me so they come here to say Christian Prince I mean, they are liars don't, don't don't take them seriously And right now, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to apply for a visa to go to Saudi Arabia and I will start a farm, you know, to for camel urine because this is the time for camel urine. That's it. We have a solution. This is Allah advice and this is the medicine of Allah. Who need medicine? Who need doctors? Just camel urine. We have actually not only camel urine, we have honey, brother. Honey, brother. Ajwa, brother. You eat seven ajwa, brother. I mean, look at this guy. He told the Muslims, if you eat seven ajwa a day, ajwa is a palm date fruit, seven of them. Hmm? No poison can kill you and no black magic can hurt you. What black magic? I mean, how in the world black magic will be stopped by food? I mean, do you see any connection? Like a black magic it in order to be stopped by a food it have to be something we eat too <laughs> if a black magic is a true you see food or anything enter your mouth it can be either harmful or useful but black magic is not something entering your mouth. So how the ajwa can fight the black magic? Ah, let, let it go. Muhammad is talking, doing poo poo. Forget about it now. But how ajwa, if you eat seven of them, no poison can affect you. Who's a Muslim who try that? You know, the Muslim, they say, the Bible says that no poison can kill the Christians. There's no way that the Bible is saying that, as you understand, because Jesus himself, he was killed in Christianity. Jesus himself was killed. The Lord of the Christians. So obviously the verse is not what you are trying to say. The poison is that nobody, the, the, Jesus, he said, they can kill your, you know, they don't be afraid of those who de destroy the body. Be aware of those or afraid of those who destroy this, the, the, the soul or the spirit. So for us as a Christians, no poison can kill us, which means no poison of the devil, poison of Islam, poison of cults, poison of the world can kill us because our eternal life is guaranteed by believing in the Messiah. Because the poison is you poisoning your head. Believing in the virgins, private parts, gold and silver in heaven. You know, you may, you, you must have you made God a, a pimp house, you know, his, his house. But as you see, Allah Apostle said, if you eat seven ajwa a day, every morning, you will not be affected by poison and magic. And guess what? Muhammad himself was affected by both and he died by poison, not only affected. According to Muslims, Muhammad was affected by magic and to the point he was not, you know, he imagined himself having sex 
but in fact he was doing laundry and Muhammad he died by poison as Aisha reported so look at the fraud he taught us with the medicine but yet himself he infected by both and he died by poison Do you remember? Do you remember the guy who his brother is uh, sick? Who remember the hadith? Let me see if I can find it in English. There's a guy. Uh, his brother is sick, so he came to Muhammad, and he told him, "My brother is sick." Muhammad told him, go and give him, let him eat honey. Uh, okay. <clears throat> the guy he went. And he came after a few days. He said, my brother is getting more sick. He told him, I told you to make him drink honey. I said, I did that. He's sick. <laughs> He's getting more sick. He went again few days more he came back the guy is dying obviously dying you know here we go i found it look at this story how hilarious it is a man came to the prophet and said my brother has got loose motion not lose motion the prophet said let him drink honey the man again came and said i made him drink honey but uh, that made it worse <laughs> the prophet has said the truth the prophet said allah has said the truth and the the, the billy if your brother has told a lie have you ever heard of a, such a doctor <laughs> your brother your brother tommy your brother's stomach, your brother's organs are lying. Allah told the truth, which means he claimed that the honey medicine is coming from Allah. Allah told him to give you honey. In different hadith, by the way, they say that the guy, the story is longer, and they say that this guy, he recover. Look, look, look at this. It says here, a person came to Allah, Apostle told him that his brother uh, bowels were loose. Thereupon, the Messenger of Allah said, give him honey. So he gave him honey, and then he came and said, I gave him honey, but it was only made the but his was more more loose. He said, he said this three times. Three times. Which means he came three times. He came already three times to Muhammad, saying to him that the guy is getting more worse. And then then in, he came in the fourth time, fourth visit. And the Holy Prophet said to him, Give him honey. He said, I give him honey, it, but it only has only made him uh, go, go uh, worse. Whereupon this, Allah Messenger said, Allah has spoken the truth and your brother boys, they are, they are wrong. <laughs> so he made him drink honey and he, he was recovered, brother. <laughs> oh boy. Don't go to a Muslim doctor. He will say to you that your, your stomach is wrong. <laughs> oh boy. That's science. Fifth, well, first time, he's not working. Second time, is not working. Third time, not working. Fourth time, not working. But at the end, it worked, brother. It says here, he recovered, brother. Can you deny it says that? <laughs> we do not know if, you see, in different it doesn't say that. I think this is, this is addition. Because if you look in the Arabic, it says here, this is the conversation of your prophet. Your prophet never say, فَسَقَاهُ فَبَرَى This is something addition. From here to here, this is the statement about Muhammad.
That's it. The rest is addition by Muslims. Uh, hold on, we have a guy. His name is his name is Danny. How I can help you, Danny? I think Danny he 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 have some issues. You need help, Danny. There's something I can do for you, my friend. I'm trying to find what you are posting because I see your people people are somehow upset from you. So would, do you like to say anything to me, Danny? This is your opportunity. Here we go. I'm just. Just looking at your watching for your text. Do you want to say anything to me? Uh, corona can be healed if you have agreed with Allah. You have agreed with Allah. What? So how Allah did not heal Muhammad? He died by poison like a rat. Bible said that we have been chosen before the world made this our destiny if we are born no you see God God he knew who is the one who is going to be uh, choosing him which mean we are chosen for we choose him that's why the Messiah said not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will so do God have a knowledge he do but who is the one who made decision to do the will of God? It's us. So we are chosen for he knew us. The Messiah, he says, I know my sheep and my sheep, they know me. So if you want to, if you want to speak about Christianity, speak about Christianity as the Christians believe, not as your fantasy is. You can go right now to the bedroom, close your eyes, and imagine Christ saying that. That's mean we are... You know, we are not Christian, really. He made us, that's it, before he created us. No Christian believe in that. This is why the Messiah said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord. Here we go. The other Christians, by name, say, Lord, Lord, by name. But they don't do the will of God. They will go to hell. Not everyone, but the one who do his will. So what is the requirement? Is to do the will of God. That is you doing the will of God. So don't make uh, make up stories and try to explain things as you wish. Uh, <clears throat> I thought you said I don't say anything about Islam from myself. Only read your scholar. So you are saying scholars add words? Are you a joke? <laughs> okay, hold on. Just this is just a this is a response to you, because you are the Muslims. I, I, I will give you an example. Uh, we have a we have a guy. His name is Fifi. I was reading a, a hadith. I said um, uh, Imam Murrah. He said there is no Imam in Islam. His name is Murrah. There, no, there, there is no Islam in Murrah. And then a bunch of Abdul like you, and you are one of them, come here and you post. There is no one in Islam named Murrah. We never heard of a scholar named Murrah. So look at you, how hypocrite you are. When I show you your scholar saying something, you yourself you reject them. Oh, what I said here, this is addition by the one who report, not your God, Prophet Muhammad, saying that. How I can, I am not saying, it doesn't say that, CP. I'm saying that it's not your Prophet said that. And now, let us see as long you remind me of this murra. <laughs> Stupidity is a must. You go and watch Fifi and Susu and Mimi. He never heard of Murrah because he's a donkey. There is no Imam. His name is Murrah, brother. This is the book of Al Bidaya and Nihaya. And the funny, I show it in the screen. I mean, I'm reading from the screen, and this you get the idiot and those Abdul. They 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 believe what he's saying. Actually, I don't think even they believe. I think they agree just because he's saying whatever he's saying. He's just attacking Christian prince. This is the Bidaya wa Nihaya for Ibn Kathir, value number one, page number one to eight. Does it say Murra? No, Zibi. It doesn't say that, Zibi. <laughs> Who knows Arabic? He can call me right now so we can read together. <coughs> hmm? 
Any Muhammadan? Do you see his name? Potatoes. And then every Muslim come to the chat, he says, uh, you know, uh, CP, tell us about Imam Murra. <laughs> you, you know, in China, and still I like the Chinese after whatever, whatever Corona, I mean, this is just a disease can happen anywhere. They say he left as a donkey, he never came back as a horse. And this is what happened when your teacher is a donkey. Okay, this is even worse. If Imam, if he is not an Imam, then why Ibn Kathir reporting from him? He was he. He is higher than Imam actually. Because look, the one who is reporting from him is the highest of Islamic scholar. So when my name appear, let me let me translate this page so everybody will laugh. Shall we? <laughs> When my name appear in the list, but this guy he do not know by the way that this name is exist. He's an idiot. He's just a, uh, just a joke. Let us translate to English. Why is translation is not coming? Uh, translate to English, okay? <coughs> uh, <coughs> and now how we can find him? In English let us see <clears throat> potato world mm -mm -mm -mm. Anyone see it? I don't know where to see it now. This is the English translation. But anyway, I mean, uh, reported by, from the Sahih, from a turmudi وَقَدْ رَوَى التُّرْمُدِي وَالنِّسَائِي وَإِبْنُ حَيَّانِ فِي صَحِيحِي وَإِبْنُ أَبِي حَاتِمْ فِي تَفْسِيرِي مِنْ حَدِيثِ عَطَاءِ إِبْنِ السَّائِ إِبْنِ مُرَّ لَهَمْ أَنْ مُرَّ لَهَمْ أَزَانِي Ani ibn Mas'ud, ibn Mas'ud is one of the names, Allah, a prophet, he mentioned his name, that which means he is from the time of ibn Mas'ud, from the time of the companion. And this edict, he says to us, listen to the Imam, all of those, all the Sahaba of Muhammad, actually, they are Imam for the Muslims. Because the best of Muslims is the companion of Muhammad. So if he is saying he's not an imam, so what he is, he said he doesn't exist. We don't have someone in Islam like this. He never heard of the name. <laughs> oh. But I'm trying to find here where, where, where the name appear in English. Hold on. Oh boy, this page is English. Huh? It's hard to find it here now. You see, because this uh, page is not like a normal page. Let me see if I can find. Different page, which is a smaller. Anyway, they are a bunch of jokers. There we go. We found different page. Hold on. We will use this one. This is a different book. It's, it is Sirul Alam. Value number four, page number 70. The, the good thing about this page that it is uh, small. So a translation will not be make us, uh, you know, uh, lose where to find it. Now, here we go. His name is in red. Hmm. They never heard of him. They are learning Islam from him. Look, the, the name here is, is, is gone in translation. So his name is Murr al-Hamadani. Al you know, we saw how he prayed, etc. Blah, 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 blah. 
Well, he never heard of him. Uh, because he's the, you know, that's why they don't dare to call me. Potatoes. Spanking time. Anyway. <clears throat> You see, actually, you Muslims, you should reject anything is addition to what your prophet said. Did your prophet say that? No. So why you are you adding it? You are reporting hadith. You are reporting a hadith, which means you are reporting what your prophet said. What the guy said to the prophet and what the prophet said. Why you are adding the, 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 the in this? So he made him drink. Obviously, there's somebody. This is not your prophet saying that. So I just said this is your prophet saying that no you Muslims added because different he doesn't say that here we go if we go back hmm. all right <clears throat> this is al-bukhari this is the hadith as it is word by word where is where it says that he made him uh, you know he recover this is al-bukhari what happened how come it's not here Because Islam is a fraud. This is the conversation between your prophet and the guy. The rest is addition. Any Muhammadan? Who is next? And what kind of a, what kind of a prophet he said to the guy who is dying? You know he's obviously very sick. Uh, and you know how you how you, somebody told you I have a pain you give him honey. I mean that's it. So Muhammad he claimed that he is in uh, God told him as you see. Believing in Jesus Christ is the will of God. You know, Jesus Christ is God himself, my friend. The Christ himself is God, is our Lord. Is, he is the, the, the visible image of the invisible God. Any Muhammadan? Who's next? And as you see here, Muhammad he lie. He says that the, the the disease will never enter the city of Medina. Why? Because there's angels are protecting it. And then we find that tens of thousands of people, you know, affected in the whole area, including the Medina. And people were dying. How many of you save this uh, reference? Any, any of you save it? Right? <clears throat> I know, but believing in him is this will, right? I don't understand what you are saying, Tom and Jerry. Your question is like a Tom and Jerry cartoon. Christ is the visible image of the invisible God. And when the Messiah says, not everyone says to me, God, God, but the one who do the will of my Father, which means my will is exist. Before you met me, before you saw me, your father Abraham, he saw me and he rejoiced my day. This is what he said to the Jews. You know, he says, your father Abraham, he saw me and he rejoiced my day. They said to him, How you how he this happened? You are not even 50 years old. Why? Because they don't understand. So he said to him, Before Abraham I am. So obeying the will of the Father is obeying God in heaven and God in earth. For God in earth is the visible image of the invisible God. So you are mixing things between uh, what will? I mean, what I don't know. I don't know what you are talking about. Sound like a Greek argument. 
about who is more uh, who is more really chicken the the rooster or the uh, rooster the red rooster or the, the black rooster you know some people they make argument just to argue just to, to speak stupid and they go in circle Uh, you know, uh, uh, ZB, hold on. I think you are the guy who your prophet he spoke about in the hadith. Let me show you this hadith. Why you don't call us and be proud about your prophet? The guy who called him ZB. Is that you? The one your prophet spoke about? I mean, look at this prophet. Either you agree that he is a fraud or you show me one Muslim his head became a head of a donkey. People who take what? DMT drugs can contact spirit. Are those the spirit evil? Tom and Jerry get lost from here. Sorry. I have to say that old kid lost. What take drugs contact spirit? Go take drugs, my friend. Obviously, you're a druggy man. Somebody, he take drugs, he contacts spirit. My friend, a person, he take drugs, he is lost. He's high. He's a stupid like you. Because obviously, the question is coming from somebody taking too much drugs. So now, if I take drugs, I can contact spirit. <laughs> Where these people are coming from? Don't get married, okay? The one who take drugs is obviously mentally ill because you know it's bad, you know it destroy your brain, and you contact no one. Even you lose contact with yourself when you take drugs. Crazy people. <clears throat> Like sometimes you take people seriously and you talk to them as adults, but then you turn on like like kids, take drugs. Now where is the Abdul, the guy? Who is a Muslim can show me one Muslim, his head is a head of a donkey because he raised his head before the Imam. Don't tell me after 1400 years, I can show you tons of videos from YouTube right now, of Muslim raising their head before the Imam finish. How come Allah did not make his head head of a donkey? Obviously Muhammad is a fraud. <clears throat> Ilah mean Allah? No, Ilah is a different word. Ilah, you see, the people they don't, they don't, uh, they don't. Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe you listen to people who make things. This is the word Ilah. You see, all the words is coming from Aramaic and Hebrew. Ilah. Let us make it big. Il Ah Il is God. The Ah here is like saying the God. That's a word by itself. Do you understand? Il is a word meaning God. So have nothing to do with Allah. Allah is like this. Al La. Al is the older version of Il. Which means in the ancient Aramaic, in the ancient Hebrew, Al was instead of Il. So if you read the, the old uh, uh, old uh, Hebrew uh, Bible, you will find that Elohim used to be Elohim. Israel used to be Israel. Mikael, Mikael. Ishmael, Ishmael. Why? Because El was Al. It's just a word meaning God. So the language changed a little bit in the pronunciation. 
and the word il and al both are a word meaning God. So the second you put the, the word al before a word, that make it God. Whatever come after is the name. Do you understand? <clears throat> Whatever come after the word al, which is equal to God, is the name of the God. As an example, let us go to the Quran. All of us, we knew that the Arab, they worship three daughters of Allah. What their name? Who remember? The same, I'm, I'm going there, Al Masih. You, you see, in Arabic today, the word you can call, you can add the Al as a word meaning that in the Arabic today. But this is those are names starting from different different culture. Those are not Arabic names like Al Masih, Allah. Those are not Arab. The Muslim don't even know what Allah means. They have no idea. If you ask any Muslim what Allah means, they don't know what does that mean. All right. So look at this. Al Lat. Now, is a Lat is a goddess? Yes. Al Uzza. Al Lat. Al Uzza. God is Lat. God Al Uzza. And the Manat, some they say that the reason they don't uh, count it, uh, you know, as uh, because it was a very, uh, let us say, scary. So they don't, they, they hate it. Some they claim that uh, Manat was uh, responsible for the death, that the, the goddess of death. You know, we don't know if this is really, uh, I mean, to confirm. But what we knew, that Muhammad believed, by the way, that there is a, there is a goddess, and they are daughters of Allah. Actually, Muhammad, he claimed that he killed one of them. Muhammad he claimed that he killed one of those daughters of Allah, which means he claimed that they are exist, they are real. <clears throat> she is a woman who have dark hair. Muhammad he sent Khadim Warid to kill her. Uh, first time he could not find her to kill her. He cut only a trees and then he came back. Muhammad he sent him back. He says, Go back, you did not finish your job. If you remember the hadith, we show it many times. You see, the Muslims, all the names they have in their Quran is not from them. As an example, if you ask a Muslim, what, okay, is Israel, what Israel mean? Arab Christian, they use the word Allah because they are under the occupation of Islam. That is a translation, my friend. The real Bible does not have that. That is a translation. And they've been forced. They are living under ISIS for 1400 years. If you ask any Muslim, okay, what Israel mean? They don't know. Why? Because this is a name stolen from other belief, other books. This is not their book. What Israel? You will notice here, the Muslim, they think that Israel is a name. All of it. The fact Israel is not a name. Yes, it is an, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a given name to a person but it is a sentence, it's a description. It's not really a name of a person. It's a description for what happened to a person. Il is the word God. Muslims, okay, who's a Muslim who's listening? Who can tell us what Israel means according to Islam? Anyone? <clears throat> They don't know. Why? Because Islam is nothing but a theft. It is not the original belief. 
it's a counterfeit and the thief he do not he have no knowledge it's like you know me i claim to know uh, uh, mathematics and then you ask me uh, six by six i have no idea simple question i mean israel is, is this is simple question this is not really you do not need a, to be a very uh, i mean high scholarship knowledge to know what the word mean but he didn't know even the muslim do not know what al-masih mean imagine mikhail they don't know allah they don't know ishmael they don't know abraham they don't know <laughs> why because simply Islam is a theft when you claim that you wrote a book and this book is not yours and people ask you what is this is mean you do not know what you are talking about because it's not your book those are not the names you know them you are just a copy paste person have you ever heard of a God he don't tell us how this guy his name became Israel nowhere we can find how this has happened how okay the quran speak about a guy his name is jacob and then suddenly speak about a guy his name is israel okay who is jacob and who is israel okay we know who's jacob he is a son of a, a person mentioned in the quran right okay do you know what jacob mean no now who is israel do you know who's he Al Ilah, there is no I, it is E. Why people are stubborn? Al Right? Ilah. They add ah, but the ah is very light, so it's not really, you know, in the old in the old language. So Al is in Arabic now because now we are using Arabic. Al is a word meaning now the. Ila is God, the God. Did you get it? Al in Arabic today is a word meaning the. Al as a word in Hebrew and Aramaic mean God. In the ancient Hebrew, so the Arab one they want to say the God, they say the Ilah, which means Al Ilah, which is coming from the Hebrew anyway. It's a theft in the Aramaic. Even that is a is a theft. They have nothing, you know. This cult have nothing. Do we have any Muslim now? I understand you know, it's impossible to be al ilah before. No, Allah is not a name. Why people are not listening? Allah is not a name. The Muslim ignorant, they think it's a name. We just told you, why you nobody is listening? It is two words. So how it's a name? Al is a word meaning God. The name is La. That is the name of their God. Al is a word meaning God. So the name is not Allah. The name is La. Al is a word meaning God. Do I need to go back to zero?
when you add this, because this is this is not an Arabic word now you see in Arabic a l is a word meaning that as simple as that a l you add it before anything the house the door the man the women you add l as long you are giving definition who is he you know him all right but this is not an Arabic word this is a story in word from different believe different religion so they store it but they do not know what it means as an example, in the same ch chapter we are opening, look, they have here Torah. Okay, what Torah mean? Any Muslim can tell us what Torah mean? They don't know. Injil, what Injil mean? How in the world Allah, he sent Injil to Jesus? Injil is a Greek word. <laughs> you see a thief? The Muslim they claim that Jesus was a messenger for the Jews only. Okay, how he is a messenger to the Jews, but he is giving them a book in a Greek. Are we listening? That's not only it is a disaster, it's a stupid. Because this is a contradiction for the Quran. When you say that Allah he sent Jesus the Injil, you just confirm that Islam is a fraud. Because if we go in different verse on the Quran, we will find that Muhammad said, not me, that Allah he never sent the messenger except in the tongue of his people. Are we following? Chapter 14, verse number 4. Who's talking? The God of the Abdul. They can't say this is weak and we didn't accept it. We send not. We never send. Ever. We send not a messenger except with the language of his people. Okay, hold on. So the, the name of the book is telling us what the language. The, the name of the book is Injil. Injil is a Greek word. Have you ever heard of a book? The name is in a Greek but the book inside is different language? That would be funny. So, how Allah, he sent not any messenger except speaking the language of the people, yet he sent Jesus a book, it's called Injil. Stupidity. Muhammad, he got himself busted. Based on this verse, Jesus was a, a Greek. And he was sent to the Greek. And this is why his book is in a Greek. <clears throat> and the proof in the front of you. Stupidity is amazing. But uh, this is what happened when you have a guy, he's a thief, he's a donkey, not educated. He copy, he posts in his book. Okay. He heard that the Christian they have a book, it's called Injil. We call it Injil. But this is not that will not be good for you. Because it's called Injil because this is a book written for the Greek people. It's a Greek book. Why you are using the Greek book? And the funny, it is Allah who sent the Injil, not someone else. It's not like Muhammad saying it's called Injil. No, Allah He gave him, the, gave Musa the Torah and gave Isa the Injil. <clears throat> any Abdul we are dry these days 
I, I just get a, I told you like maybe 20 minutes ago, 30 minutes ago, that a Muslim he decided to leave Islam. He posted that in Facebook, but still we are dry. Today I got only one person leaving Islam. I mean, I don't, this is really dry day. Only one. No, I don't think the name of Isa is coming from Ice Asos in Greek. I don't think so. Because still there's a huge difference, you know. I believe that Isa is a son of a woman. Her name is Maryam. She is the sister of Aaron. Which means he is the nephew of Moses and Aaron. If you go in the Old Testament, you will find that Moses and Aaron, they have a sister. Her name is Maryam. This is exact the same name as written in the Quran. And Muhammad himself, he mentioned in the Quran that Maryam is the sister of Aaron. Maryam is the sister of Aaron. So obviously the, this idiot, he heard from the Jews that the daughter of uh, the, the sister of uh, uh, Moses or Aaron, her name is Maria. He thought this is the same Maria, and looked like they told him that she have a son. His name is Isa. So Isa is the son of Maria, the sister of Aaron. <laughs> Garbage in, garbage out. And you will, say, you will find the mistakes all over the Quran. As an example, Muhammad, he think that Abraham, his father, is Azar. But all of us, we knew that this is going to be true. I mean, why the Bible will say different name? It's a book came long before, before Islam. Why the ones who wrote the, the, the Bible will, will give us a wrong name for Abraham? Why the Jews will lie about it? There's no way. You know? It doesn't make sense. So Abraham, he said to his father, Azar. How, how he said to him, as you know, the Muslim, they think that Azar is the father of Abraham. But where is the word Azar is coming from? <clears throat> Any Muslim? Any Mohammedan? Any comment? And this is why the Muslims they didn't translate it because they didn't know what this Azar mean. They think this is the name. But the fact Muhammad is a thief. He heard from somebody, you know, the, the, the report says that there is two slaves. Both of them, they are coming from Nasribin, coming from all the way uh, from, from, from uh, the north of uh, uh, like uh, uh, Iraq and Syria. So, Azar is a word being foolish. So he said to his father, Foolish, are you going to worship idols? The stupid Muhammad, he thought that the word foolish is the name of, of the father of, Muhammad, of, uh, of Abraham. So read carefully. And remember when Abraham, he said to his father, Azar, Muhammad, no, he don't stop. His father, Azar, he think that this is the name of his father. Do you take idols as uh, 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 gods? But the fact, this is not a name. This is a word meaning stupid, foolish. This is foolish. Are you going to worship idols? <laughs> so the word, the, the word is stupid, idiot, donkey, became the name of the father of Abraham. 
Well, you know, uh, you know, I I don't know how to give you a reference. This is a uh, you have to uh, we have to invite somebody. He is uh, because you know for me I did learn this actually from a scholar in the Aramaic language in the ancient Aramaic. So to provide you with the reference, I have to get uh, uh, his uh, his uh, his books. No. You know everything we have we learn it right we learn you know you learn from me i learned from people too so you know knowledge is is a is a, is a is not something you are born with you spend your time searching looking for, you know finding and then you learn <clears throat> but anyway you can go to anyone who speak ancient aramaic um, because still there are some people they, they do speak the ancient aramaic until now and they will confirm it to you. <clears throat> Any Abdul? Uh, be careful here look like we have a fraud person his name is Nathan he will teach you about the stock market so he will take your password and etc don't get rid of him you see they got in the chat they start speaking hello how are you etc and then he's giving you a Skype he will teach you about stock never trust anyone in the internet I will never ask you for your name. I will never ask you for your password. I will never ask you for a credit card. I will never send you a file and I will never take a file from you. So be careful. Don't be a fool. It's internet. There's a lot of garbage there. <clears throat> they call their God al Ola. I don't know why they call their God Allah. I'm not sure why. Yeah, never take a file from me. I don't send you files. And never think it's me unless you hear my voice talking to you and not recording because they, they are evil you know they can't do anything they can cut my words saying hi in, in by voice send it to you no you have a conversation real conversation like you know ask me something and then you will get the answer right away fit with the question uh, be careful they are really they can do a lot of evil stuff <coughs> And anyway, I mean, here what we are doing is sharing knowledge. Why you wanna give, Why you wanna ask you for anything? You know what I mean? What's my business? Hmm. Do you have any other books you think is good to read about Islam? Well, I, you know, Islamic books is the best to learn about Islam, but not Islamic books written to you in English, which means you have to learn Arabic, actually. You want to learn about Islam, you read Islamic books, all the garbage there. You can say 99.9% .9 of my knowledge about Islam is coming from the garbage of Islamic books, which means Muslims are the one who taught me. But for them, they don't... They don't see that there is garbage there. They see that this is amazing. This is a Greek word. When we say Latin, I don't know if you know what Latin means. <clears throat> you can go and search in, in Google and see and see what the, what the what the origin of the word means.
there is origin of languages and there is languages who follow all right as an example Arabic is not a language by itself the Arabic is a mix of languages mix of Aramaic Hebrew uh, uh, some from uh, the Ethiopian language some I mean it's uh, it's a mixed big mix and by time it became a language by itself <clears throat> uh, Adzan what Adzan there's nothing such a word you mean uh, you mean Azan well, you know, uh, uh, th th what happened when they called for the Adhan, uh, they were looking for a, a way to call for a prayer. The Christians, they have a bell. The Jews, they have, uh, uh, they, they have that trumpet, you know. The Muslims, they have to come with something. Actually, there's a hadith. I will try to find it. Uh, let me see. They were discussing what to do. They even they told Muhammad, maybe we should use the bell like the Christians. He said, no, the Christians use it, so we should find something else. Uh, Let me see if I can find you a reference. <sighs> it's not easy what I do, you know, but it's okay. Here we go. You know, like you have to have a very uh, good healthy memory to I mean to find right away reference to come to your head uh, the people mentioned the fire and the bell what does that mean they are proposing to Muhammad let us choose this which, which one you use use fire to call people for prayer or the bell huh? so they are suggesting to Muhammad to what you want to do all right and then Muhammad, he told him, no, this is for the Jew, this is for the, 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 the Christian, so I'm going to use the Adhan in the order of Bilal to do Adhan. Let's see different, different uh, uh, here we go, look at this hadith. This is, this is better, I have more details. I don't know if the text is clear. Is, it, is the text clear, guys? When the Muslims arrived to the Medina, they used to assemble the prayer. And he used to guess the time for it. See, during those days, the practice of Adan for the prayer had not been introduced yet. Once they discuss this problem, see, where is Allah's inspiration? Why Allah don't send a verse, do Adan? No. They discussed this problem regarding the call of the prayer. Some people suggested to use the bell, like the Christians. Others proposed the trumpet or the horn, like the Jews. But Omar was the first to suggest that the man should call for the prayer. So even the Adan is coming from Omar, <laughs> not from Allah. <laughs> Do you see it? Do you see it? A scandal. It's a disaster. It's a garbage. Even the prayer for the Muslims, it was made up by Omar, as you see. Omar. Here we go. And this is the hate for those who like to save reference. Do you see it? I hope I answered you, the one who asked me about the Adhan. This is the reason behind the Adhan. It was Omar. It was not even Muhammad. You believe it? It's not Allah. 
it is not Muhammad. It's not from Islam because who, who is the Prophet, Omar or Muhammad? And where is Allah here? Well, he was taking a nap. Anyway, what we do here is very, it's about education. And I hope people, they take reference, they save them. And if you are ever watching my videos, later, for those who watch my videos, and you want to find those reference, it's very easy. You know, think about it this way. Let us try to search for the same line. Like, let us say, type the same exact line in Google. You will find the hadith. Like now, I'm not showing for those on the screen what is the number. And you want to know okay, which where I can find this one. Very simple. Choose a sentence. Those days, the practice of Adan for the prayer had not been introduced yet. Actually, try always to find a unique sentence, like here. Uh, once they discuss this problem regarding the call for the prayer, some suggest to use the bell, like the Christians. Here you go. It's long, but will make you guarantee to find the reference. This is in case you did not, um, you know, you didn't know how to find it. Because we post the link here, but later the people download my videos and share it everywhere. All right. I mean, you see, uh, you guys are lucky. You know, when I, you know, for me, when I was studying, we don't have computer and internet. First time I got a computer, I turn it on. I don't know how to turn it off. I said, what's wrong with this computer? I hit the switch again. It doesn't turn off. I thought there was something wrong. I took it to uh, to return it. They gave me uh, they gave me a defect uh, <laughs> computer <laughs> because I didn't know what this computer is. I just get it, you know. So I hit the switch. It turned on. Okay, wonderful. And now I like I play a little bit with the mouse to see what this like. You, you remember the old day, the old days computer? They were like a like a woman. She have a baby in the nine month. Very huge screen. So okay, I play with it. Okay, now I'm done. I'm going to turn it off. So I hit the same switch. I thought the same as a light, you know, like <laughs> the same as a stereo, the same anything. So I hit the, the same switch, the one I turn it on. It doesn't turn on. It doesn't turn off. Like, what the heck? I paid a lot of money for it. Something wrong with it. I turn again. Like, I hit it again. It's not turning off. Oh, boy. Man, oh, man. All this money was for nothing. <laughs> yeah but i mean this is how like you know a computer introduced to us uh, really late you know not like in the usa and i have no idea really what is computer about anyway after two weeks after i uh, getting my computer i made a i i i start learning uh, about a script uh I study even some about JavaScript, but I forgot now like too much, how to make a window, how to make a click bomb. Uh, you know, I learned how to do uh, web design, but you know, not like high knowledge, but I can design a website. So from a person, he turned the computer on by a switch. He didn't know what computer, you know, it was very, I mean, in two months, three months, I became really good in that. Yeah. But uh, this is how, you know, everything, you, you, today we are lucky. You have you have your phone is better than any computer at that time. I remember even to log into the internet, it was dial up, you know, dial up, you know, the, the ring in the phone, and then the the modem stuck. And when the modem stuck, that's it. Format the computer, not to do what to do, you know, take off the jack, put it back, turn it away, turn it off for five hours. It was horrible. The internet, hold on. Let me show you an old an old videos of mine. Let me search for it. We are done with them with Muhammad uh, garbage now. I have a video which is mentioned in the Iranian TV. This is an old video. The Iranian government TV. They were talking about the most uh, the uh, like the most aggressive against Islam. You know. Uh, Let us see if we can find something. <clears throat> anyway, 
anyway just to show you how I was using the I, I was using a camera I bought a camera which is really expensive uh, I was recording the screen by the camera you believe it recording the screen by the camera I'm trying to search in Google to see if I can find it <clears throat> but this is how bad it is and then you download the video from the camera to the computer and the computer is so slow and then to load 10 minute video in the internet it take hours oh boy you, i go to sleep i woke up still the, the video is not <laughs> it's not loaded yet <laughs> i know i cannot find the video uh, i'm sure it is there somewhere it can be found in memory tv because the one who told me about it actually it was in memory tv it told me uh, they are talking about your video in, uh, you know, this Iranian TV. Oh, look what I found. I was looking here. I, I found this one. That's uh, Hisham al Husseini. What an idiot. Anyway. <clears throat> Mission impossible. I have millions of videos, so uh, finding my video by myself is impossible. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> memory TV. Memory, not memory. Yeah. Anyway, maybe you can't find it. Uh, but this is how hard in the old days, not like now. I mean, we have. Uh, software i mean things is way easier like and not only that i used to use google translation to translate anything because there's nothing there's no like there's no hadith in english there's nothing when i was exposing islam you know at that time there was nothing totally nothing and then the muslim excuse was He's lying to you. He is, this is a translation. It's not true, you know. Now we have their translation. It, even we show on the screen, it, say, it doesn't say that, CP. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, guys, I think we have a good time for today. I mean, I searched my videos on the internet. I found, like, if you find a million videos of my, my, my videos. I, I mean, it's endless. <clears throat> Like once I was uh, I was invited for uh, uh, to a church. Uh, they I will meet with the board first before I speak in their church. They want to know who I am. They don't know me. So they say that there is something like you know reference. Now the one who brought me with him, he is the one who introduced me. He told them just type his name in YouTube. <laughs> The, the the bishop of the church he starts screwing with the with the, his iPad. All of this with uses yours, all of those, all of those. <laughs> and he is screwing the screen and he's and the screen is running fast, you know? And all those all those videos is yours. I said you see so nothing, you know, he can keep going until tomorrow, maybe next year. You know. Yeah. <clears throat> that was a very interesting uh, meeting. Supposedly, I will speak for a half hour with them and 15 minutes, I think. They, they, they told me, the guy who brought me, he said, uh, they will give you 15, 20 minutes maximum. They are busy people, you know, and you have to explain what do you do. So use it in the best way to convince them. So we went there for like 20 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. And then we left, I think it was almost 11, 11 something middle of the night, which means from afternoon 
all the way to the middle of the night. That's it. They, they, they want to go. You know, tea is coming, drink is coming, coffee is coming. Those guys, they don't want to go. You know? And the guy, he insists, he told me they will not give you more than 15 minutes. They, they were serious, you know. So you better use it in full. The guy who brought me, he said, I have to go. I can't stay here. You know, he said, okay, this is already two or three hours, you know. I have a family. <laughs> He said, but I don't know now how, who is going to pick you up. I mean, take you back where you came from. Uh, they told him, don't worry, we will, we will, uh, we will give him a ride, whatever he is. Yeah. So it was like supposedly for some uh, few minutes to talk, but then if you look at their faces, those guys, they are. He said, you know, we are, you are, we are, we feel like you, we are from, coming from different world. We have, we heard nothing like this before, you know. So anyway. And then they gave me not only a stage, they invited me. They have a big, 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 huge festival for the church where they have a big stadium. Um, there's thousands and thousands of people. Yeah. <clears throat> now they were asking me questions and they were surprised. You know, I am not, uh, I, I, you know, they, they got really surprised of the way I answer. And and the, the one who you know who invited me, he told him this guy he is not perfectly correct, so be careful. You know. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I think we have enough for today. Uh, I, I pray for all people in the world, you know, to recover from this uh, disease. We pray that Muslims they will not be sick with it. We pray for everybody, not only Christians. We pray that the world will be saved. And at the same time, we remind mankind that life is very easy to be lost. Don't think you will live forever. There's many people, they wake up in the morning, they think there is years and years to come, but they never come back home. There's people go to sleep, they never wake up. Life is very Fragile, very easy, you lose it. There's people who they are young, they make fun of the old. You might not leave even for next week. At least this person, he lived 90 years. Maybe he will not even live a year more. So, I believe, I believe that death is a mercy. Death is a reason for us to be wise and to be hum humble. <clears throat> Imagine if a human being, he never die. He will be a monster. He is already a monster. Death is the only reminder for a human being that he is nothing. You see, human being, and actually I advise you, I advise you from time to time to visit a graveyard. Because that will make you wake up. Will make you go back to the truth. If you ever go to a funeral of a person, you will have a different feeling after the funeral. Something very special. That is the real you remembering that it is just about a matter of time and then he will be in that hole too the messiah he said let the dead bury the dead people don't understand until now what this verse means many people they have they don't they don't think deep let the dead bury the dead because everybody is dead you're alive but you are dead already so death is a mercy death is not against us however we have to appreciate life too and in order to reach to the point of death where you believe death is mercy for you good for you not bad for you are a believer you believe that you have an afterlife in order to reach that point you have to appreciate what the lord he gave you for what is given to you now is going to be taken from you later and either is going to be taken from you and given to you back and you live even better life or you will be sent to where you deserve to go
Don't be afraid from death. Be afraid from being fool. Lord will not make me love uh, live long. You know, I, you know, I want because I want to live long. I mean, long, long, long. What, what, what is the long is about? I mean, there is enough of life. Yes, there is enough. I, I pray, and I pray in front of you, that the Lord will keep me alive as long I can do my mission. The day I cannot continue, I want Him to take me in His own way. Because if I cannot do what I can do anymore, there is no need for me to live. I'm not really attached to life. I'm not worshipping life. It's like, you know, a tree still standing, but there is nothing. There is no leaves. There is no fruit. There is nothing. What's the point of me being standing there? So, my friend, always think about, about others. Feel for them. Pray for them. Uh, pray for your country. Pray for even those who hate us. Be Christian. Remember not to, be, not to fall into the, to the hate uh, game, the, 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 the Satan game. Of hate pray for the Muslims they are suffering badly now from coronavirus is all over their countries pray for the Chinese pray for the Hindus pray for the Buddha pray for the atheists pray for the world because prayer at the end when you pray to others it is for your benefit you will stay a better healthy at least in your mind it release all the bad things from your heart your anger Imagine praying for your enemy. That's what Jesus said. But nobody asks himself why we pray to the enemy. The fact you pray for the enemy because that even better for you. You live better. You don't sleep with your anger. Even scientifically, that those who have a lot of anger, stress, you know, because anger brings a lot of stress. Hatred not only brings you stress, it can drive you crazy. When you release yourself from the anger and the hatred, you are really, really healthy. You sleep well, you eat happy, you live happy, because you are free. You know, hatred and anger and revenge is like a slavery. Somebody is holding you from your neck, controlling you. You do this, you do this, because you want to take revenge. We want to take, you know, we have to do this, we have Allah Akbar, you know, like what because this is how Satan he control you he make you a tool in his hands you are not even the same person anymore hatred is destruction and love is a solution this is why if you go to villages like when I go I went to some like you know countrysides in Asia as an example the Philippines I found people are very poor, but I mean, look at them. They are, they have nothing really, but those people, they are happy. They look at their, look how they welcome me and look how they, I mean, look at their smile. Their life is so simple. They hate nobody. They have no enemy. You know, they live good. And they are not poisoned by the city. And I'm not talking about air and pollution. I'm talking about being corrupt being a fraud very simple people their bed is from wood their roof is from wood and when it starts raining the rain starts coming from some holes in the in the side of the roof you know and the guy he was looking he says you know i think that this is a this is our filipino shower <laughs> he was not upset you know he said, this is our Filipino shower. I said, well, <coughs> uh, good to have a house anyway, you know. He's happy and he's healthy. He have all those coconut trees around him, the kids playing outside. Very beautiful, you know, uh, nature. So, you see, maybe you might think that they are not blessed. They've been taken, many, they don't have anything. They don't have electricity. But God knows what will happen to them if the electricity enter to their house. Very simple life.
you know they eat from the trees around them they have a caribou like a cow you know uh, they, they they plant better than those who live in the city they, they you know you go to the big cities in the Philippines I mean uh, what kind of life people rent little tiny that tiny tiny room and then this they, they work the whole month to pay the rent for this room go and live in a village at least you live healthy you die healthy why everybody is dying to go to a city because a human being became like a mosquito you know attracted to the fire that you know the, the fire have a light so the mosquito go inside the fire think that this is light this is not light you spend your life working like crazy and you accomplish nothing in those cities and then because life is tough in those cities the cities will drive you to a corruption because your money you make is not enough you want more in order to live better as you want you have to make more money in order to make more money it doesn't come easy it doesn't come like just by doing a job yeah I live too slow so what I mean if, if, if a fast life is better you know just you just remind me we mentioned this is before actually there is actually this is this is an article I saw it in the internet a story I don't know if it's true or not but anyway, anyway. but it's a it's a very uh, very good story uh, there was a guy a businessman he was going to uh, Mexico uh, you know in the beach there's a village next to it so anyway he saw he go to the coffee uh, like in the beach he find a, bu a bunch of fishermen he start conversation with them one of them uh, so he told the guy the fisherman uh, so what uh, what what do you do he said I'm a fisherman he said what time you go to work he said well I go early morning what time you finish he said I finish like by 9 9 30 I'm done he said then what you do he said I come here with my friends sit in the coffee you know I sell my fish, give them the the, the the store where they buy the fish from me, and then I come and sit with my friends. So the businessman, he says, why you don't fish all day so you can make more money? The the Mexican fisherman, he said to him, okay, and what is next? He said, if you fish all day, you make more money. Then after a few years, you can save good money and you can buy a big boat. He said, okay, and what is next? He said, then after you buy a big boat, you save more money, and then you, you buy a, a three, four, five boats. He said, okay, what is next? He said, okay, after you buy many boats, you have many people, you have a company and corporation. He said, okay, and what next? He said, then even you can have, uh, your company became so big for fishing, and you have a stock market. You became a billionaire. He said, okay, then what next? He said, then you come here, you relax, in the, in the, you, you sit in the coffee, drinking your coffee. Uh, in the beach you do nothing I said I'm doing that already now <laughs> he's, he's doing this already now so he want him to work all his life destroy his health to sit in the coffee to drink coffee well he's doing it already he go in the morning work two hours three hours and he come back all day with his friends drinking coffee and laughing and they're happy you see how they corrupt you? I'm doing it already. The guy who is a businessman now, he is retired, but he spent all his life and now he cannot he cannot swim no more. You know, he have a 1000 bill if you have to take with him wherever he go. You maybe have an oxygen, you cannot uh, so this is what people do. They work all their life and then when they have money supposedly they want to go and have fun. But you cannot have fun no more. You became so old. You need somebody to carry you. So he was advising the Mexican fisherman how to have a company. Okay, what he would do with the company at the end of the day, he's going to die. Or what he need, he have. He's happy. You're advising me all of this to do, to go back in the beach and sit in the coffee. I am in the beach. I am in the coffee.
this why really I I admire poor people who you know live in those villages because they were not seduced and tempted by the city they stay strong in their town they live better they reserve they preserve their honor you know because when you are a poor and you go to a city you will be humiliated they will give you the lowest of jobs they will take advantage of you and not to mention you know pimps and gangs and crimes and you name it live in your town preserve your dignity if you work in a city for somewhere for some time save money and go back to your town don't be a slave of money forever buy a little land in your town live there build a house by your hand and you know you are just wasting your time you will end in nowhere <clears throat> like you will find uh, you know uh, many Indone many uh, Filipino I spoke to them they are dreaming to go to America I said this is how funny it is American are dreaming to go to Philippines and you are dreaming to go to America why because in, for them they want to have that big TV they want to have the car they want to have etc but they don't know that American they they wish they can go and, and live in the, in the Philippines and you know they go and live in this uh, wood house actually there's many American they, they, they have uh, wood, wooden houses in the Philippines they have literally wooden houses like villagers human being my friend never been never go satisfied you will find an Asian people taking whitening they want to be white you will find the white one he sat in the sun we want to be dark I mean what's wrong with people because nobody is satisfied the white want to be darker the darker want to be whiter the white they look at the one who have darker skin they say to them you have nicer skin the dark you look at the white he says to him I love white people I wish I am white what's wrong with you why because a human being don't appreciate what he have why is why a human being want to take a whitening I mean this is an insult to you not only it's poison you do not know what they are giving you I mean obviously it's doing something to your body isn't it so you waste your money and okay you got white and then what is next you go in the city in the Philippines in cities nobody is nobody is Filipino no more everybody became white you stop taking medicine for a few days you, you know okay you became Filipino again <laughs> what is this that is the corruption you should love how God he made you if you are if you are an Asian who said that Asian are not beautiful people who said that if you are a black you are not a beautiful person who said if you are I mean the, all of us we, we, every every ethnic they have their own beauty and we get ugly when we don't want what God he gave us you see you see European they sit in the Sun for like six hours seven hours until they became like a chicken coming from the barbecue why because they are not happy with their skin color okay so what we will do now we will get darker and what we would do we sit in the Sun for 10 hours and then we get cancer hmm? and I mean the list goes for I mean tons of things corrupt a human being clothing you know I need to buy an expensive purse expensive suit I have like a man he want to get married okay you have to buy a diamond ring I mean why it have to be a diamond I mean who where, where this is coming from diamond ring so you want to put in a finger thousands of dollars and you don't maybe you don't even have them why can't you give like something made from 
anything. I mean, is it really the ring would make you married? Okay, do you want the ring or the man? Obviously, they want the man uh, with the ring, but they want the ring more. And then uh, the, there's a competition how big the ring is, you know. <laughs> <laughs> especially between Middle Eastern they love to show off it's a ring day <clears throat> well if I get married if ever I get married I might give her uh, let me see I will go to Walmart I will buy maybe a ring like for five dollars you know and uh, after a few weeks, it get uh, rusty. She will throw it away, and then she would have no ring. Bingo. Why she have to have a ring anyway? So she can hit me in my face, give me a box, and and leave and leave a ring mark. Hello. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you know, just be be simple. Life is good. Be happy. Those things they are not important. And actually, if you wear them, they can cause you to be killed. You know, a, a, a criminal, he see you wearing such a ring, he might cut your hand to take it. You know, if if you don't have them, nobody will attack you. Nobody will think about coming to your house. Having those uh, rings is, is an invitation for criminals. You know? You know, when I was uh, away abroad, uh, a, a bunch of teenagers, they broke into my house. And I think... They, they wanted to leave the nation, but they did not. <laughs> the only thing they took, actually, I have a safe. Those those idiots, they thought the safe is, uh, I have money in it, you know. I have nothing. I have my degrees. I have nothing. Nothing will help them, you know, just papers. Stupid. And actually, uh, I got very upset because I lost all those papers, very important papers. I put them in the safe, so if there's a fire happen, etc., you know, uh, they took the, th the safe and I, I, I can imagine how many hours they spent to open it and then they got nothing inside yeah <clears throat> no you can buy a ring like a gold ring you know for uh, like a hundred dollar that's enough you know it's just a simple thing but there is some some uh, some people they live for fashion and they live for expensive stuff. This is how their life. And when they will die, and whatever you have, they will take it from you. You will not take your ring with you. Trust me. How I know they are teens? Well, they told me actually, because there was a neighbor. He saw them when they are they broke from the window, and then by the time the police came, they run away. You know. Yeah, they are like young, not. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> My grandma, you say, used to say that PhD meant bullshit. Hmm. Well, it's you know having having an education degree. Is good anyway because it opened doors for you, but doesn't mean you have education. You see, your degree is required for certain jobs, right? So if you have degrees, that open opportunity for you. So degree is good. I encourage people to get degrees, but degrees is something, and knowledge is something else. Uh, and you know, there's uh, depending the degree too. Like let's say you have an engineering degree, we learn about engineering. Anything else you don't know. Right, so you have only one field of education. If somebody speaks to you about religion, if you don't educate yourself, you know nothing. History, nothing. Politics, nothing. You know, so uh, degree doesn't make you educated. A degree give you education about one branch as a career, so you can make money. <clears throat> yeah yeah the degree doesn't make you smart for sure i mean degree a degree is a degree actually many people their degree is dependent on memorizing things they go to the exam 
they put what they memorize there uh, especially in like I notice in some countries their questions is not really about how intelligent you are it's about how much you studied right it's not about intelligence but always I encourage people to earn knowledge to earn degree because a uh, degree can open doors for you can get a good job you know if you have if you have no degree then you will work what you will do the, the, the you know handy jobs now handy jobs can you know like if you live in America actually you make a lot of money if you are a plumber man you are you make money like a like a doctor or an electrician so there is many jobs actually they can give you very good uh, uh, income and give you a respectable life you know so uh, you have to find you have to you have to get into what you think is good for you something you like do what you do if you want to do a job try to get a job especially if you are young listening if you are like in your 18 17 try to learn a career which you like because remember you will you will spend your life working in this career for the rest of your life so if you like uh, electricity well, learn how to be electrician like plumbing okay air conditioning actually those those kind of business they are very good you know and not necessarily having a bachelor degree will will make you earn a good money not necessarily a plumber can make way more than a, a person with master degree you know you know I have my master degree what my master degree to me nothing zero <clears throat> anyway uh, I think it's time for us to go I want to say thank you guys for being here watch uh, watch around for corona or when you go outside you shake hands with people etc don't kiss don't hug uh, wash your hands before ever ever you touch your mouth you know don't make a mistake like you go in the mall you 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 hit the bomb for the elevator God knows how many people touch it who is sick who is not because things is going out of hand and I believe strongly that the numbers they are showing us in the news are far away from the truth. You know, always government, they try their best to control the panic so people will not go crazy. And they give you the lowest numbers they can. Because that can affect, you know, imagine if things really go out of hand. Um, stock market can collapse. Banks can close. Crimes can increase. Uh, you know, I mean, things can go crazy. Towns will be empty. Streets, nobody is there. Uh, so things can really can go really bad. And maybe it's a good, a good, a good opportunity to to buy and save some food in case something wrong, crazy happen. You never know. Because obviously, until now, they have no idea how to stop this virus. Nobody, nobody knows. Not even in America, you know. Like, look at those stupid uh, administration. They brought all those Americans who used to be in the cruise ship, and uh, supposedly they put them for 40, 14 days uh, isolated to be sure they are not sick. And then later they discover that this disease, this illness, this virus, can stay and would now without any symptoms for 27 28 days you believe it and not only that those who received them in the airport they were wearing no gloves no mask nothing you know you believe it this is america <laughs> i mean <laughs> people are dying from this disease and they knew they are sick you know they knew like some of them they are sick and yet they did not wear gloves they did not put masks they did not take any uh, you know extra uh, what you can say crazy very crazy yeah it's good it might go out of hand you never know i mean obviously you know don't you see obviously there's something very bad happening and obviously behind doors they don't know what to do because all medicine they have is not working look like it that 
It is your body who decide if you will die or you will live. If you have a good immune system, you survive. If not, you die. Obviously, their medicine is not functioning. You know? Yeah. Uh, well, depends where you live, but if you live in an area where it's infected heavily, then you have to wear a mask. Don't Not necessarily a mask. You can put a scarf. I mean, mask is just a joke. What mask? If you have a scarf at home, put it around your, your face. It's better, actually, than a mask. It's not about being worried. It's about being careful, my friend. Be careful. Be careful not only for yourself so you don't bring disease to your family. You know? You will be hurt more if you see your son dying. So it's, if you don't care for yourself, because let us say you are brave, right? Okay, you are brave. But what about your kids, your family? You want to bring death to your home? So you have to be careful. Correct? There's many things we do because we have people, we love them. Uh, not necessarily for us. For the sake of people you love, you have to be careful. good all right guys thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you all and again feel free to download my videos especially like the part we are teaching about islam you can cut it off and make it ready for your podcast or your uh, uh, re, re upload and we will be here again tomorrow and until then if the lord want us to be here tomorrow until then i say and i pray for all of you to stay in good health and wealth and the best health is the health of the brain. For if we lose our brain, we lost everything. We lose our faith. We lose our dignity. We lose everything we have. The health of the brain. This is where things start. People commit crimes because their brain is functioning in wrong way. Hatred, illness, everything is connected to the brain. And there's many people, they are really ill, but they don't know. Because their brain convinced them that they are healthy. But in fact, they are. They are ill. So, we pray that the Lord, He provide us. He protect us. He protect Muslims, Hindus, Buddhas, Jews, Atheists, everybody. He provide to them, so they might choose before they die to believe in him and they will be saved we pray for countries they are suffering from this disease like China and all other countries like Iran people there they are in chaos <coughs> and things is getting really ugly uh, and we pray that we will not have what they have to and with this we say Amen thank you and God bless Take care.